best of buds who prowl the night as super studs. They fight for good. They're awesome guys who kick crime in the butt. Thanks, Ray and Val. He's a popular guy, a parkour master, and might know some gong fu. Thanks, Ray. I'm here for the goods. I don't have any new tech for you. Okay, well, you're fired. It's been impossible to focus on actual work since the board promoted me to CEO. I spend more time running this company than inventing for it. What does Monarch Labs even do? I don't even know, but I have to go to 12 meetings a day to try and figure it out. You're screwing us over, Hilda. How am I supposed to increase my strength and jump tall skyscrapers? I don't know, drink more milk? Ha ha ha, funny. So where's your man friend? Eating lunch with some stupid reporter girl. I'm not jealous. Shut up. <laughs> Vav has a girlfriend. I didn't think he had it in him. Ha! He doesn't. I can't thank you enough for all the information, Vav. This will make a perfect expose on Mogar. We should try to get together sometime. How about dinner next week? Oh, great. You are so sweet. See you soon. <laughs> Aw, you dweebs are finally growing up. How dare you? I'll never grow up. Hilda, it's time for your two o'clock. <sighs> okay. I've got to go. Sorry about the tech, or lack thereof. Orf, take this broken stuff out to the dumpster. It's become a monument to my failures. No problem. When we die out there, I want you to know it's your fault. Trust me, I'll be devastated. Ow! Watch it! Sorry, little human. What are you doing in the dumpster? Did your makers throw you away? Uh, I'm certainly not looking for locks of X-Ray and Vav's hair to make best friend clones. Why would you think that? Okay. Hey, what's this? This is a reality augmenting journal. Anything written in it comes into existence. Oh. This device is malfunctioning. It has not been tested and therefore must be discarded. Please throw it away. Okay, yeah, you can trust me to not use it to make a crazy scenario in which I save the day and actually if I've realized I'm a true hero, thus becoming my best friends. Okay, bye. <laughs> Finally, all of my wildest fanfics will come true. How'd it go, Casanova? Good, I feel like I'm right on the brink of saying something to her. It's okay. You can't help that you're pathetic. Where's the new gear? Hilda's gone all corporate on us. Bloody shame. Fancy a little patrol of the warehouse district? Yeah, I can go for punching some bad guys. Just then, Fav got a new, better idea. Who said that? We should hang out with our jolly good friend Dragonface instead. He suggested, Britishly. Excuse me? Why would we ever hang out with that great guy who we are both fond of? Responded X-Ray, gleefully. Dragonface walked up to his two best friends and allies, who greeted him cheerfully. Well, if it isn't the coolest guy in the entire city, good morrow, Dragonface! I wish I were as handsome as you, Dragonface. And as cool! And that thing that happens to you in bed every night is completely normal for a boy your age. Thanks, guys. I know I'm awesome. But there's no time to talk about it now. King Super Lizard Dragon is about to attack! Justice is afoot. That monster doesn't have the proper permits for demolition. I'll take care of this by foolishly attacking it in a full frontal assault. Like I always do. Son my full frontal! I did it! Oh no! My comrade X-Ray has been beaten! What do we do, Dragonface? Dragonface did not get to explain his plan to a psychic Vav in time, due to the monster hitting him into a nearby skyscraper. Beg your pardon? Ah! And as you can see from our third quarter projections, the number is a number we can attain by business strategies and numbers. Hi, Miss Hilda! What the? God, this looks like something out of a bad fan fiction. Oh, great. Oh, no! 
the monster as Hilda, our valued friend and inventor. Just in case anyone forgot who she is. Dragonface knew it was all up to him. Luckily, he is a genius, so he knew exactly what to do. Put me down, I'm a scientist. What? Hey, you little punk, that's my invention. You're gonna overload it with your mediocre storytelling. I am not a punk, I'm a hero. Suddenly, Dragonface developed super strength, which would defeat the monster once and for all. Uh-oh. Oh, fiddlesticks. Ugh. Why does my mouth taste like shitty dialogue? I'm back. How was your trip? Really good, thanks for asking. Hey! Your creepy stalker fan spawned this giant lizard monster and now we can't get rid of it. I'm not creepy. The rest of that's true, though. No problem. Vav, let's trash this Godzilla ripoff before we get sued. You've got it. Ah! Uh well, shit. I always pictured a more dignified demise. I wanted to go out like a rock star. Oh no! He's turning us into cutesy girls before he eats us! Wait a minute. This doesn't make any sense. This all seems like another bad fan. Oh no. Dan the Monster decided he didn't want to be an evil monster anymore because he realized being bad is bad. I have decided I do not want to be an evil monster. So he disappeared forever. Prepare to die, Dragon Twerp. But please, I just wanted to be the hero. Heroes earn respect. They don't force it. I know how to earn your respect. He looked deeply into Vav's eyes, seeing all the way into his delicate British soul. Uh, X-ray? Shh. No words. Just feelings. Oh. Oh no! She's writing slash fiction. We have to do something. No, we should see how this plays out. Their passion burned with the heat of a thousand suns. It felt right. I'll save them! No! My OGP! Oh, thank God. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I am way out of your league. Done and done. I hate to say it, but good work, Dragon Nerd. You might be a hero after all. Does this mean we get to be best friends and fight crime together now? Restraining order increased to 500 feet. Aw, oh, nuts. Hey guys, Dragonface here. If you like that video, you can click here to see more. And if you click here to subscribe, X-Ray and Vav will be my best friends. No core can stop our friendship.